So my name is uh, Tim Verheiden. Um, at the time when I visited uh, Washington DC, I was a student, a master student in business engineering at uh, uh, University College of Brussels. Uh, currently, I changed to the, K the KU Leuven, the University of Leuven, to do a PhD in uh, finance. Doing an internship at the Financial Services Roundtable, which is kind of a lobby organization, uh, as you can see, for the, the financial sector and the financial industry in, in, the, in the United States. So basically what I did, I was working at the Community Services Department, um, working in close collaboration with the Vice President of Community Services. And basically what we tried to do every day was um, to see what banks and financial institutions can do back for their communities. So it was kind of interesting because I was working in a hard environment, the environment of Wall Street bankers and, and finance. Uh, but next to that, I was also working with a very friendly um, supervisor, basically, who was trying to make the world a little better from the financial institutions. Um, so instead of just focusing on lending and, and people in financial misery, we were trying to do something back for the communities through the banks, which was a nice balance uh, in retrospect. There were a lot of uh, dimensions, let's say, to the, to the Washington experience. The, the main one was obviously working day in, day out as an intern, um, in my case, at the Financial Services Roundtable. Um, Next to that, you also followed classes, so you were still a student. Um, the classes were really interesting, nice professors. Um, I think the distance was uh, smaller in the US between a professor and her students than it typically is in, in Belgium, which is a nice experience. Uh, you get a lot of interaction as well. Um, next to that, basically, you're, you're constantly uh, immersed in an international experience in basically the political capital of the world, um, working in close collaboration with Americans on one hand, um, who can tell you all about the, the experience in DC and how it is to live in the US and in DC in specific. And then next to that, of course, you're exposed to a lot of students from America and in and, uh, and expansion also with students from all over the world. And I think that to me was the most uh, interesting part. I mean, uh, obviously the professional experience was good for me as well, but basically on a personal level and if I have to see, well, what, is, what was most useful to me today, in my everyday life today, well then was uh, especially the international experience uh, broadening my mind. I thought when I went to the US I had a pretty broad mindset and I had an open mind of the world. Um, but then when I came back, I saw, well, there was a lot of things I didn't know. I never spoke to people from North Korea, for example, or, or China or India or all those kind of countries which are booming and we still think of them as, for example, developing countries, um, which is officially true. But if you talk to students from there who are really ambitious, really making their way in life, um, you really get another, another view on that and, and you try to really keep up with them because you're ambitious in Belgium, you're ambitious in, you're ambitious in a really developed world, but when talking to those kinds of students, you really uh, step up your game and you say, well, I need to go abroad much more, I need to talk to uh, international students much more, and I can enhance myself both on a professional and a personal level much more than I have been doing so far.